GG Tab fans, welcome back to another episode of Empyrean Galactic Survival. This is your host Zelot, and we are here today doing the Alpha 10.5 Advanced Start on the Temperate Planet series. So there's the Fin Fighter, we got that in, and now we need to work on the base because it is woefully inadequate for our needs, which are many. And so we've got this going and I screwed up and didn't grab, you know, I had an opportunity to buy a fruit of some sort, some sort of sprout that would grow me fruit, but you know, you know didn't do it because I failed. <laughs> Uh, anyway, so, you know, I can't make um, emergency rations yet because of that. I'm not going to dread on it. I'm just going to continue to work on the base. I mean, we can make lots of hamburgers, so it's not like we're going to starve. It's just disappointing. I'll have to go up into space and buy them or just find the... Um, didn't we... Did we find them somewhere? See, I think if we go to one of these and just buy, what are we now? Are we, see, we're still neutral. So we got to go, we got to go do some quests with the Talon. So the, I think that's what we'll do. We'll start the Talon chain, maybe just to get up to buy the sprouts <laughs> and do the quest stuff. I'm not sure what, do you get any actual decent... 5,000 rep for completing that. 1,000 rep and 10 gold. So what is that? Oops. Hang on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Didn't want to do that. Didn't mean to double click on it. I wanted to check to see what... So it's not giving me... Fend off the predators. So we gotta kill a bunch of predators. I mean that's easy enough, right? There's Unholy Temple, find a couple of its hiding places. That sounds simple. Get some gold for that and rep. So those two sound pretty easy. And that would actually pop us over. So we'd end up being friendly and then we'd able to do that one. That's a lot more rep and gold. Um that one, a lot more rep and gold. So as you can see, and then eventually you're honored and you can get better, uh, better, better rewards. Although I wouldn't say their rewards are all that great. Let's let's check out the Xerox rewards. So this one, taming the mood, you need to be neutral, and you get rep, money, and pentaxid. Wow, twenty-five pentaxid. That's pretty decent. That's pretty decent. Wow. And then that one is also a neutral one. Uh, 1,000 rep and money card and another 25 pentaxid. That's pretty cool. Uh, Got to be friendly for that. And more pentaxid. Well, that's a lot of pentaxid. Yeah, look at that. Pentaxid. Pentaxid. 100. Wow. So that's that they actually have some real decent value to their reward. Polaris also, I believe, are pretty freaking awesome. So now we didn't go in and check because we could we didn't activate it and look at all the um so if we like we can't activate it anyway, but and I'm sure it's not no, it's like not going to show us so we can't go in and take a look at what is in there and what individually we can do like we could do with the with like this one because we've done it before we know that you know find deposits okay whatever but if we took this one i know there's more to it and we'd end up 
actually getting more gear along the way. It's not just that. It's just like the solo one along the way you get at the end of it, you get that stuff, but along the way you also end up with a bunch of stuff. So if you look through here, see it gave you a detector and then a T2 assault rifle with, with rounds. And then it gave you a light armor, another, a pulse rifle, T2 pulse, health pack, bandages. And then for completing it, you end up with medium armor, pentaxa, gold, laser rifle. And so you end up with all these guns and ammunition throughout it, uh, doing each section. See what I'm saying? So, so it can be beneficial doing uh, these missions, even though that it doesn't necessarily say at the beginning of the mission, the end of the mission isn't necessarily, it's like, oh, well, that's, uh, it's okay. Because I know for a fact, this one here, uh, this, it's not the solo, it's the Polaris, totally overpowered. If we went into space and went there, we'd eventually get a suit of epic armor. We haven't completed the mission, we still got to do a bunch of stuff after that, but eventually along the way, we get a suit of epic armor, which is pretty epic. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I mean, anyway, today, what we need to do is get this base a little better. I made a whole bunch of blocks. You can see we're just like packing the concrete, packing the concrete. We've got tons of the medium thrusters now that's good we can i think we'll be able to make a deconstructor and that's what the room below is going to be furnace and deconstructor we've got the deconstructor there so we got lots we got lots to build here so i think what we'll do is and oh yeah we're going to get attacked pretty soon well not necessarily maybe not this episode but so what we're going to do first is we're going to connect to the box with all our stuff in it, which is this one. And then, so I want to grab that. I want to grab the doors. Um, okay, so that's pretty much what I want right now. So we're going to switch to our multi-tool and I'm going to pop this out here. Uh, and the reason being is because I want to preserve the garden going on. So I don't want to screw up the heat or get it radiated by a radiation storm coming in or something, right? So, so I want to pop this block out here, but I'll, I'll screw up the garden if I do that. So let's put stuff onto our, oh, well, we already grabbed it. What am I talking about? Let's just grab it go to number two now I'm gonna lay it down so let's switch it to this and I want to pivot it to that and actually I want has to say airtight true yes airtight true no airtight true no yes and yes so blank a little here, let's go with this one facing us okay so I put it on the ground there so that now we can open it and I think I can aim at let's grab our multi-tool I think I can see it says concrete block I think I can pick up the block underneath without the door yeah see and it didn't screw up our atmosphere because the door is being held up on three sides right now it, it only needs one side, but it's it's being held up by three sides so it didn't collapse. And it's sealing in the hole underneath it. So now I should be able to dig. I should be able to just dig. If we open this. Well, here, let's, let's use our drone. And we'll switch to the drill. We'll get our. Now this is gonna go into the box with all the goodies in it, but 
that's okay. Like, what I mean is the, uh, any stone we dig up is going to end up, we're going to have to move it because it's not going to go in where we want. But I don't care. Okay, so now, let's, uh, do we have, we don't have it on us, so let's grab those, grab some elevator blocks. That one didn't group onto it, so we'll just go like that. Okay, so we'll pop those in there. Pop some more in right underneath it. Now this has to be three high minimum. So let's, where do we want to drop this down? Let's, um, so those two walls are always going to be persistent going down. So let's start that. We'll get this into the corner here, I think. Right? Right? No, can we not get it in the corner? Is it not going to want to go in that corner? Come on. What if we go against that wall and then... No, it wants to be dug out more. So that's the issue sometimes is you can't quite place it now because the... Uh, oops. The... The new collision for dirt is a little different, right? So okay, so those are the persistent walls. They're gonna keep. They're gonna keep going down. Um, so we'll stretch those out so that we know. Okay, it's just you get turned around when you're digging like this, and, and you get all topsy turvy and start doing the wrong thing place some blocks where you don't want to and whatnot. Okay, so that's potentially collapsible. I don't want to go too crazy there. Okay, so we need to keep going. Dig this out a bit more. Let's see if we can get this into the corner. Yeah. Okay, so that's good. Get that down that down oops sorry I smashed my mic that was really intelligent okay Put that down and that okay now we can get some more elevator yeah. elevator so that's three elevator blocks that's the minimum height at this point drag that down. Oh, I had it there. I want to get that down. Okay, let's get this dug out a bit more. So we got to establish the bottom corner here. So right here, this is going to be where the floor is. So let's get our first foundation blocks in get that in there yeah perfect there and there and there and then well we can place that one there now that's fine okay so we want to get can we get that one in that one doesn't want to go in so we're gonna work away at this like this just kind of plinking at the floor until it starts filling in. Nice. Okay. So basically this room is going to have all the kind of dangerous equipment the so like the generator uh, furnace uh, fuel tanks potentially the shield I'm not sure if the shield generator puts out any radiation I'm not sure if it does uh, pentaxid tank I think that does so 
that's kind of going to be the dangerous, dangerous goods floor, I guess. Furnace room. Cellar. <laughs> Okay, get this dug out quite a bit more now that we kind of have an idea of what we want. We'll keep bringing that across. Come on, there, oh, I had it. Just gonna bring that right across as far as we can there. Get that up there, bring that across, get that dug out. So I don't want to, well, actually, if I did the, um, if I showed the structural integrity, it's probably not that bad because these were resting on a bunch of those blocks above us were resting on, on dirt. And there might be a little bit of dirt in one or two of them that is actually causing it to have structural integrity while it's up there still. So, um, yeah. You can actually make stuff float that way. At least it looks like it's floating, but in reality, there's a little bit of dirt inside the block holding it up, giving it structural integrity. It's kind of funny. There's uh, you can make POIs float too with a command. So when they spawn in, you can you can give them. Um, the floating, no structural integrity thing so that they can float above the surface of the planet. But that's upon spawn, and I don't think you can give an existing POI or a base that property to begin with. Um, at least not yet in the game. It might come, but... Let's dig this out a little bit more. Not really sure how big we should do this room. It doesn't have to be massive. I mean, we want to get cargo space, furnace, shield. So those are two two items that are three by three in size right off the bat. So I mean, it can't be peeny, right? We've got to got a bit to dig, but that's okay. Oh, we broke through there. That's fine. We'll just um, get this in. Don't want any trapella pods or trellola pods or whatever the heck you want to call them. <laughs> Fall down in here while they come swimming along. <sighs> it's always fun, isn't it? Okay getting there. Get this crap out of here. So as you can see, this is just going to probably be just a very basic room. Um, not a lot to it. Keep working at the corners and edges and stuff. And you can drag multiple, more than just one whole row across if you, if you hold control. So if I hit, hold, oops, if I hold control and pull up and across, I can do whole sections that way. Okay. Get these in. Nice. Come on. There we go. So, <laughs> it's funny, there's the core. Um, let's keep digging this out. Okay, 
definitely has to be a lot bigger still. Two things that are three by three by three, three by three by three. Looks like I've made or I've used 100 blocks so far. It's really not that much considering I already had the, the floor or ceiling, I guess you could say. Come on. Dig you out. Get it to place. Oh, we're breaking through there. Afraid of that. Afraid of that. that up there. That's the water right there. So we've got a little bit of water there. Okay, so the water ends there. That's not too bad. Okay, so when we put the... When we continue that, so we can continue that, it'll hide that. go. Okay. Uh, let's keep going. Get that up there. And we want more. Oh, oops. Come on, can we get that? Yep, good. There. Okay. Okay, so how big have we got it now? It's still not big enough. A little disorientating digging with this thing sometimes if you if you're not used to it you can kind of get disorientated and and uh, not which know which direction you're facing I guess we're gonna that's water right there so we gotta continue that okay so let's let's leave that because then we'll know that's on the outside so I mean it doesn't really matter do whatever we want, really. Oops. Okay. Yeah, this is taking on a much better size. Got a lot to dig out still. Well, it's really fast with the the tier two. Okay. 
Okay. So I think this... Do we even go this side? Yeah, I guess so. Okay. It's gonna be just slightly bigger than upstairs. Okay. Oops. Um, that didn't work. Didn't like, which I dug out of that, which was not enough, apparently. Okay, so now we're at the point where yeah, okay. So we can't get it go any more forward than that. So that's where we're stopping then. We're going to place a block there. Start bringing this up right there. So there's our, so one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So if we go up right there and seal it across right there, be like nine by nine. <laughs> Let's do that. That works. That means two sides. Oops. That didn't work. Let's get that in. Okay. So that's, this is going to be the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, well technically eight. Okay, let's get that dug out. Oops, crap. <laughs> There, let's let's continue this one over here and get this one to join up. We can destroy the. Uh, uh, see, I think I already nuked one. Did I have four? I might add four. Now I only got three. See, I got too close to it. I think I got too close to it. Darn. Oh well. I'll have to put another one out there. Okay. So now. There, let's. Can we get. Go like this. Just close that off, please. Thank you. And what we're going to do is we're just going to bring this right across then. Nice. Okay. Get that in there. Get this dug out some more. get this over to here. Oh, crap. Portable constructor is gone. What was in it? <laughs> I don't think I had anything in it. Oh, really? Portable constructor? I didn't think I had a portable constructor there. Uh, really? Do I have another one? Nope. 
So I nuked my portable constructor. I actually had one out. Okay, I didn't know I had one out. Okay, uh, that's interesting. I could make a new one. I'll have to do that later. I don't have one on me. No. Okay. I'll have to make a note of that. Make a portable constructor. Since I just apparently nuked one that I didn't know I had one right there. Okay. Well, my bad. And can I get back down in there? Yeah, there we go. Okay, well, that sucks, but we will continue on. Okay, get that in. And here we'll just go like this, get that up there to there. Okay. Oops. Pull this down. Okay, let's dig this out really quick. Oops. Oh yeah, we should be able to place the blocks now. one yeah there we go and then we need that one and those two okay we have made a sealed in three by whatever <laughs> okay So I don't have to put a ventilator down here because the planet has oxygen. So that's not a big deal. Okay, so where do we want to put stuff? We've got... You know what I should do? No, I'm looking at it. Let's let's bring this out. Cause that looks like crap. Get this brought out. There we go. That's better. There, that seals that off a little better. With my portable constructor in there somewhere. <laughs> Whoops. Oh well. Okay. Um, realistically, I need to make a big... I need to extend this out even further. Um, out into the water more. Get this. A big area, flattened area here. Just for constructing a CV. Okay, so here we go. We've got a sealed room. To utilize. So now, uh, furnace, furnace. So let's, I don't know, let's stick the furnace over here. Green fighter, that's the front. Everything comes from over there, so if we, if we do the... Do the generators back there. Do... Okay, so let's put the furnace in here. Let's put the furnace in here. I'm, I'm mumbling to myself, but I'm just trying to figure out the best scenario here 
Uh, we've got the advanced constructors. Don't need the ancient gravity gen, but do deconstructor down here. We're going to want uh, fuel. some fuel okay okay so we want to put this in we're gonna spin it around place it there we'll just turn it off for now so it's it's, it's off okay good okay Looked like it was on, but as soon as I went into it, it defaulted off. So that's good. That's good. And then we want we want blocks. We want more blocks. We want the container extensions. Don't need those. Don't need those. Don't need those for now. Surprisingly, didn't use a lot of blocks to build that little room. Um, Oh, I got in the way of container controllers. Two of those. There we go. Okay. So I want I want this guy right here because this guy is gonna have. Uh, let's this one. There we go like a preventing people from getting in there and burning themselves. Okay. Now, how much is that? It's not much, is it? Oh, next attack is soon. We're going to be attacked soon here. Uh, what was I looking at? The devices, container controllers, 65.5. Okay, that's not much. So should we go like this then and make a big one? Yeah, let's pull that across. And we'll just make that whatever size that is. 160 TFK. That's much better. There we go. So that's going to be our deconstruct. So I think um, yeah, and then we're going to have like generators and stuff. Because they're not going to be able to shoot through the Oh yeah, they're going to shoot through the concrete. They're going to want to shoot through the concrete. That's fine. We're going to have to beef up the concrete. That's fine. And I think what we need is another generator down here then, right? Because we're going to have two generators eventually down here. So we need another generator. So and if, let's grab this fuel tank here. So, I think what I want to do is the two generators up against the back wall. We're going to flip this. Or are we going to? Hang on, let me think about this. Two generators, two small generators, or two by ones. We stand them up it's there oh hey there we go this is how we're gonna do it so we'll do like this and actually I want to do that like that okay so let's make I know I like going up to the constructor but we'll get to it from here because the constructors upstairs and it's just a pain right now. So what we're going to do is, uh, yeah, uh, 
sorry. What we're going to do is we're going to make another generator. And it's just going to be a regular generator. Regular small generator. The base isn't going to need a whole whack of extra power. Okay, so now that we've got a second generator, we can take this, we can pop this in. So I'm going to put this against the back wall, but I want to spin that around and have that facing like this. Then the other one I'm going to put above it, um, which is downstairs. So now that I have a fuel tank down, or which is upstairs. Now that I have a fuel tank down here and a generator, I should be able to pop the other ones out. Because I don't really want these up here. So let's pop that out. Because the other fuel tank will be able to hold whatever this had. And the other generator will be able to do whatever that one was. So now we'll go downstairs and put those in. And that way, or I don't know if I'll put the other fuel tank in. I might just leave this one slightly bigger one. Well, it's over double the size of what we had. So, But I think I will do the generator just in case I don't want any power issues so we'll flip that to that direction but then I want the I want the was that the flat that's the flat there flat that direction there we go okay so we have our generators and fuel tank. Um, it won't have a lot of fuel in it because it was only half that size before. What do we have in the way of fuel made? Container controller. And we've got to start naming these things too, the, our, our containers. Because I'm at a loss right now. I'm just kind of pick, plucking through. Okay. Um, yeah, we got to start naming this crap. Okay. I wasn't going to use a T2. Ammo and fridge. Okay. We don't have any made. What's our consumption like right now? We are currently 331. And... Uh... 435 is our output for solar. We have zero battery though. So we, we obviously nuked our battery with the constructor, I'm pretty sure. And okay, we're gonna get attacked pretty soon here. Let's turn a shoulder light on. We should really put a light on down here. some lights here so let's put a light over here somewhere and then maybe just continue that line put it put another one there I think I'm not going to be wandering back into here in behind there that often. Okay, so what else do we want to put down? We want to put down another container extension. So let's 
Where should we do that? Where should we do that? Should we do that right here? I want to do that um, in line with this one and out one right there. And that's where we'll put the deconstructor up against there, I guess. I don't know if we do it one more out there. Yeah, we got to build more of the, uh, oops. We got to build more of these extensions. So let's build more of those. And I'm just kind of waiting for the drone base attack here. It's supposed to happen any time. Uh, okay, so in the meantime, we can put this down, our deconstructor. We'll put that there. Now, which way does that face? Does that look like a panel there? That doesn't. That does. Okay, so let's go like that. There. And then we'll shut that off because it doesn't need to be on. So it automatically turns off when you go into it the first time. That's kind of cool. I like that. Okay, so let's see how our containers are doing. It's almost done. Here we can just launch our drone to get into the tougher areas here. just basically building a wall of extensions at this point. Um, I'm going to put the solar down here. Okay, we've got the three by three, one, two, three. by three so we can't go in to there at all okay okay that's fine oh here we go we're under attack so let's go deal with that let's go deal with that Use the uh, fin fighter if we can get into it quick enough here. And, oh, here it is. And what do we got in the way of? We got lots of lots of plasma. So let's. Yeah, it didn't really have a chance. <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> okay. Yeah, the four plasma cannons <laughs> didn't really, couldn't do much. Yeah. Oh, well. Oops. Actually, let's go down before we change the view here. So I've learned now I change the view. And then when I jump out, it doesn't like eject me because of the camera being all weird. Laser pistol by the look of it. Was that what that was? It was kind of... T2 laser pistol. Oh my god. What a loot. Holy crap. Can I make ammo for that yet? What am I at? What am I at? Nope. Oh, yes, I can. Um, laser pistols I can make ammo for. 
Did I learn it? No. Let's learn it. Sweet! We can go make a bunch of ammo for that. That's that's gonna rock. Alright. Okay. Well, thanks for delivering a uh, T2 laser pistol for us. Um, well, I think I'm going to leave it off here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to finish flushing out the underground room there. Get that sorted out with the extensions. Um, and then we also need to... I need to upgrade... I need to lay out more blocks down here, for starters. So we need like more of a landing pad. And um, what else? What else do we need? We got the construction, deconstruction room downstairs. Uh, we've got the, we don't have a medical room, do we? We might have to do something about that. So, anyway, next episode, we will... I think what I want to do is upgrade the CV to something that can actually um, get us around places. Like if we... Oops. Come on. Oh. Fine. Just let me out. Um, here, I'll show you. I'm pretty sure we've got some really good equipment here. So, right now we have one, two, three, four, five, almost six stacks of medium thrusters. So that's almost six in each direction. If we if we deconstruct these small ones, we should have enough to build two more thrusters and a warp drive. And unfortunately, that is where my mic died. And as you can tell, I have a different mic, a different headset, everything. So, yeah... Um, sorry about that, guys. The, the rest of the video is going to be cut. It's only a couple minutes of me yammering on, like I am right now. So, miss nothing. I'll explain why there's more of a deck out next episode. So, until then, you guys have yourselves an awesome, awesome day.